This is the 2019 Toyota RAV4. Is it dog friendly? Well, I'm glad you asked. Easy in, easy out. That's a large dog kind of space. Pano moonroof. Your fur kid is gonna love that breeze in the back. Extremely handy treat and toy compartments. Wanna carry it? Dirt, no big deal. Cause those babies are plastic. Easy to clean. Quiet startup. Are you on? Yep, it's on. Second row ventilation. All right, well maybe not that powerful, but at least there's airflow back here. Automatic tailgate. This model doesn't have it, but it's an option. So let's just pretend. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> Impressive fuel economy means we get to go to the... Yep, the B word. That much faster. Let's get a better look at this all new RAV4, the XSC hybrid model. I know you love it back here, but I got to show what's underneath you. So here's the floor of the rear. Now you can use this in reverse. So this is more plastic instead of carpet. Why put the carpet side down and get all this dog hair on it when you can put the plastic side up? Now it has a cargo cover. This does have a designated spot by the spare tire. And you can also drop the floor just a smidge to get a little extra space. An additional net on the side. Andy's dog bed with the seats up. All right, Andy, I'm gonna push you this way. Obviously, she fits in both directions. And you got a great spot for the dog bowl. And when you need the extra space, there's no button or lever back here, but you can easily get these seats down from the rear. Now, look at all that space. All right, let's go check out that second row. So you have a 60-40 split back here. Seats are comfortable and they recline back a little bit. Bloop. Hi, Andy. Leg room is great, even in the center where there's a hump. And I love this all season floor mat. Now it's an add-on, but you can also get one in the rear. I know you can look elsewhere for car mats, but this one, branded by Toyota, it's thick, durable, and it fits perfect and it means way less vacuuming because you could just pull this out and spray it down. Because we all know vacuuming carpet is a pain in the buns when you have a fur kid. That dog hair just sticks in there. You gotta pick it out. Andy, you want some airflow? Come here, look. Look at your air vents. Lower that fan speed up front and it will just blow more air back here. And you have two USB ports. Boing. Storage back here. One seat back pocket behind the passenger seat. Why is this becoming a thing? We've reviewed a couple vehicles now that only has one pocket. Well, at least you have one pocket for a Frisbee. Two would be nice. You have some storage in the doors. Pull this armrest down. What? Where did you get that rice cake from? Is that hiding? Cup holders position more forward so you can actually use it as an armrest. No, Andy, there's no more rice cakes in there. There's not a ton of storage space back here, but because the floor space is so nice and large, I think you could probably fit a bag under the front. Andy's huffing over here because she's trying to say, I hate asking this favor, Andy. But if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to our channel. Just click it. You can always unclick it. Give us a try. Think about it. All right, moving on. Oh, that front. All right, here we go. Ah, front features. Here we go. Let's get the camera repositioned. Oh, hey, want a carrot? Yeah. Yeah. These seats are so comfortable. The leather is soft. I love this lined blue material and the blue stitching to match. It looks good. Right, Andy? 
This seat is power adjusting. The passenger is gonna have to use some muscle because it's manual. All right, now I'm ready. But at least it's heated. The dashboard has this squishy type soft feel. Looks good, feels good, and that blue stitch line. I really like this detail. And speaking of details, look at this rubber grip on the scroll knob in these front compartments, even behind the door handle here. It's a nice touch. Get it? A nice touch. It feels good on your hands. Infotainment, seven inch touch screen perched right on top. I actually found this really easy to learn quickly. It's not very complicated and it works well. Plus, you can hook up your smartphone. Apple CarPlay is accessible, which I personally love. Plus, guess what it has? A wireless charger. Gotta love that. You can also speak to this car and you could teach it to learn your voice. Plus, there's a bunch of tutorials built in, so it makes it that much easier to learn how to use this thing. Here are some command examples. You can always say any of the following. Please say the following. Show my call history. Show my call history. Thank you. Voice recognition you. training is now complete. What happened to subscribe to my channel? And when it comes to storage, center console, front console, front rubberized bin, which you've already seen, doors, and there's also another little rubberized compartment to the left of the steering wheel. Here you go, Andy. Now, it's definitely a little hot, so I'm gonna go get some water for Andy, and then we're gonna go get this baby on the road. all-wheel drive and it actually has a dedicated electric motor to provide power to those back rear wheels. When driving you feel secure, planted. Now it does get a little bit noisier as you start to drive. It's not a silent car so even though I made a big deal about the startup and how quiet it is, when you're driving around you're gonna hear engine noise and you have three driving modes, green eco, red sport, and blue normal. It changes in the instrument cluster and the button. How cool is that? Regardless of what mode I'm in, Andy's been so comfortable back there, as you could tell. Now, this is definitely not the fastest vehicle, but when you put it in sport mode, it definitely feels a little bit tighter and more responsive. So I'm going for that. Now, because this is a hybrid engine, you're gonna get better fuel economy. It says on average 41 miles per gallon. So obviously that's gonna vary depending on how you drive. But what that basically means to me is that I could get back to my hometown about 300 miles away on one tank of gas. I don't even have to stop at the rest stops. And that makes me feel safer, especially if I'm traveling alone at night. I just wanna get from point A to B without stopping. This also uses regenerative braking, so you don't have to plug this in. It automatically charges and you can see it as you're driving. And it also tells you an eco score, which I think is pretty cool. Like right now, my eco score ain't so hot. It says I'm 54. I was like in the 80s earlier, so I'm using the AC too much and I'm driving in sport mode. Eco score 36, come on. And when it comes to climate control, nice big buttons. You don't even have to take your eye off the road. And with that rubbery grip, ooh, it feels so nice. This also has a JBL audio system, so let's check it out. I do not want to get demonetized, so that's all you're hearing with that song, but let me put on an actual song that we can listen to. I'm not really picky when it comes to audio, but the fact that I can access my playlist, that's what makes me happy. And this panoramic moonroof is fantastic. I love that it's part of this model. Woo, so much sunlight coming in. And you know what else is kind of cool? Is if you get home and you forget one of your windows open, even if it's just cracked a smidge, the instrument cluster will let you know that a window is open. It also lets you know who's wearing their seatbelt in the back. 
The safety features are standard, so everyone gets the benefit and feel safe. Pre-collision detection, lane keep assist, blind spot monitor, adaptive cruise control, lane trace assist. It will actually help you stay in the center of the lane. So if you're starting to get tired or if somehow on the highway, the lanes just disappear, it will keep you more in the center. It also has something called road sign assist and can actually identify signs. And guess what? In this model, it has a smart rear display. That's right, you have a camera display right here. Regular, boom. It's a little funky to drive with it on, but I mean, I guess you get used to it. But think about the advantage. You got the trunk packed up, the back window space is covered. You can still see exactly what's behind your vehicle. Check out the mailman, look. <laughs> and the backup cameras, check out how clear this is go back towards that bridge. Different angles, different views. Pulling into a spot was really easy too. The fact that the hood seems to kind of narrow more and go towards the center, I feel like you have much better perception of where the front is. It's not big, clunky, dunky. Where I normally don't pull into a spot, this was easy to park. Andy, you ready to tell him? Yeah. Our top five favorite features are one, that rubberized, grippy trim. I love how it looks and it feels. Two, the quiet startup. Great for fur kids. Three, the fact that these safety features are standard. Everyone gets to enjoy a safe vehicle and you don't have to break the bank. Four, it's easy to get Andy in and out of this rear. Five, the overall sporty exterior look. I think Toyota nailed it with this RAV4 and it totally goes with my sporty dog, even though she's falling asleep right now. Hey boss, up up. Let me ask, is it lab approved? Oh, this thing is not only lab approved, it is lab mom approved. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And if you haven't done so already, definitely consider clicking that button. We have a brand new segment of vehicles starting next week, and I can't wait to show you. And in the meantime, don't forget to follow Andy on Instagram so you can see more photos of this vehicle and a whole lot more to come. We'll see you next time. Bye.